this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create, launch, and scale all of my TikTok ads for my dropshipping stores in 2024. You guys are going to get a live look of me inside my ad account throughout the video, all the way from a day one product launch, the testing campaign setup, all the way to me scaling the ads over the next few days. This video will 100% be a game changer for anyone trying to do dropshipping, especially with TikTok ads in 2024, and give you a great understanding of the ad platform and what scaling actually looks like. I've never really seen any videos like this on YouTube before. Most people just post ad strategy videos and don't actually run the ads or so you don't actually know if they work. Also just want to preface quickly throughout this video, I was actually traveling a bit, which you guys were going to see. So some of the clips are recorded on my phone or my laptop mic, but rest assured all the value is still there. This video is going to break some brains and change a lot of lives. So without further ado, let's get started right into it. So guys, as everyone knows, Rippy Club is the number one e-commerce discord in the entire world right now. Inside of Rippy Club is my free course. And before you say anything, no, I'm not trying to be a guru and sit here and sell you a course. It's genuinely 100% fully free. In this course, I go over my entire process of how I find and pick a winning product, apply a winning angle and offer to my product, find all the video footage and edit together my video ad, and also build my Shopify store surrounding the product. If you guys want to go check it out, it's one of the best drop shipping courses out right now. Like I said, 100% fully free. It's in the Discord at the top link of the description. So I already have this A through F process done, and now it's time to launch the ads and set up the testing campaigns. So guys, when you have everything set up and it's time to launch your ads, come over to ads.tiktok.com. You guys can get a TikTok ad account with the link in the description. And I'm gonna show you guys the full setup and explain to you the Rippy Club testing strategy. This is the testing strategy that I've personally used my entire time on TikTok. It's been proven to work dozens of times. So many people get fat wins on day one testing products out with it in our Discord. And it's an absolute killer strategy. And I'm gonna run you guys through the full setup right now. So on almost every ad platform, you have your campaign, your ad group, and your ads. And I'm gonna go over through what all of these mean and show you guys the proper setup. So for the Rippy Club testing strategy, you're gonna come over here to create and we're gonna click website conversions because we're going for sales on a product that's on our Shopify store. Now this first campaign name guys is just gonna be called ABO and I'm gonna go over what ABO and CBO means. So as you guys see right here, campaign budget optimization, we're not gonna use that one right now. ABO stands for ad set budget optimization and you guys are gonna see what that means in a second. So once you guys click that, you just have to title it, do nothing else and then click continue. So that was your campaign. Now we're in our ad groups tab. The campaign is kind of what holds everything. The ad group is where we're gonna pick the countries we're targeting targeting, who we want to target, who we want to show the ads to, and kind of where the ads are actually going to deliver. So I'm just going to call this ad group name one, and then we're just going to come here and select our pixel. I show you guys how to connect this in the course, but basically you just download the TikTok app on Shopify on your store, and it should be very, very easy and automatic. The pixel is what connects your ad account to your store. So if I get a sale on a campaign, TikTok will show me that sale, and it's kind of just how we track everything. The optimization event we're going to pick is complete payment. I've seen strategies that tell people to run warm up tests with ad to cart or initiate checkout. And what this will do is TikTok will make people deliver to people who will perform those actions. But obviously we want sales with how good the TikTok algorithm is and how fast it can find your customers. I don't necessarily think an add to cart or campaigns like that are necessary to warm anything up. Scrolling down, we're going to click placements and we're just going to turn off these two and make sure we have only TikTok on. If you guys accidentally mess up and leave Pangalon, whatever that is, you end up getting a lot of robot traffic to your website and not real people. And then your metrics will look really good, but you're not going to end up getting results because your ads aren't even being shown to real people on TikTok. After this, we're going to click down advanced settings. I personally turn off user comments and coming down here, we're going to pick the location that we advertise in and kind of all of the targeting. So I personally run in the United States only. That's always where I've sold. Obviously great intent, great buying power here. So now when we come down to the targeting, as I said, TikTok's algorithm and AI, as we all know, are insanely good. I can look something up on my computer and then open the TikTok app on my phone and it's going to be right there on my for you page. So because of how good the algorithm is you guys see the available audience size up here as being over 160 million we're just not going to touch anything in here we're not going to add any interest we're going to leave it fully broad and let tiktok find the audience for us the only thing that i am going to do is i'm going to click female just to give tiktok a little bit of a boost because the product that i'm selling only females are going to buy now for the budget on this we're just going to go with 25 dollars. now coming down here we're just going to go to the scheduling and we're going to schedule it for the next day at 6 a.m now after that we don't need to touch any 
anything else and we can click next and now we're going to be here in our ads tab the ads tab is where we're going to throw in all the actual videos and the lines of text that the customer is actually going to see when they're scrolling on the app so smart creative ads is an option up here which we're going to use later but not right now first thing you guys want to do is come in here and create an identity make it your store name throw your logo in there and then that should be good and then for the video we're just going to upload all of the creatives that we have for the product that we selected so now that we have this we're only going to select one of the videos the very first one and then we're going to enter in a good line of text i see a lot of this npc stuff on youtube where they're like get yours today or sale ends tonight sound like a real human being with your text sound like a real brand i'm going to say 25 dollar holiday sale happening now just because we're in the time of christmas and new year's i think that makes sense and then our call to action is what this button right here is going to actually show if you guys open the tiktok app on your phone and scroll through you're going to see ad within one in five videos the call to action is what this button is going to say down here when you actually click on the ad so for this first abo testing campaign i'm going to go with just shop now after that you guys are just going to come into here and put in your product page link and that's going to be it for the first ad group that we set up if it's a new website or a new pixel you're always going to get this error that's fine completely ignore it and you don't actually have any issues and then go ahead and just click submit so now that we have our first abo set up we're just going to click inside of it and then we're going to click copy on this ad group and then we're just going to copy it as many times for as many videos that we have to sell our product i personally have six so i'm going to copy this over five more times all of this we're going to keep the exact same and we're just going to click continue to ads now you guys are going to be on a screen that looks like this all i'm going to do is click through each one of these ad tabs and just change out the video and keep everything else completely the same so now that we have this campaign set up we're going to go ahead and go on and set up the cbo's that are in the rippy club testing strategy what i want you guys to notice is in this campaign we're in the ad groups tab and each ad group has their own budget this is what i meant by abo and ad set budget optimization now the purpose for this campaign going live at 6 a.m with one unique video in each ad group is to let tiktok warm up to all of our creatives and find our audience pretty fast and by putting one video in each ad group we're gonna get a really good idea on how that one single unique video performs and now we're gonna come back to create and these are gonna be the cbo campaigns which stands for campaign budget optimization we're gonna check this on make it for 50 dollars and we're gonna call this rippy cbo1 putting rippy in the campaign name is proven to give you 10 times more sales for your campaign so we're gonna do that we're gonna click next and then we're just gonna set up everything the exact same as we did before pixel optimization event we're gonna select these placements we're gonna turn comments off and it's just gonna be the exact same setup as prior now what the difference here is going to be is inside your ad tab so up top we're gonna check on smart creative ads so by clicking on smart creative ads what this is going to do is let us add multiple videos and multiple lines of text into one single ad group so what this means is tiktok is going to spend a little bit of money on each one of these videos it's going to find and pick which one is getting the best results and start spending most of the budget on only that ad one important thing i forgot to mention is schedule this campaign one hour later at 7 a.m than the abo the reasoning behind this is because the abo is going to start spending at 6 a.m it's going to get a quick very fast warm-up with how good the tiktok algorithm is to who your customer will be and once this cbo starts spending it's just going to deliver to the correct audience right away so now we're just going to go ahead and submit this and then clicking again inside of this campaign we're just going to come over here and we're going to copy this three times once you guys copy this you change literally nothing and these can all stay the exact same just make sure these ones are scheduled for 7 a.m so now that we have all these copied all we're going to do is we're going to come back here and do the same thing again and we're just going to click copy on this entire campaign we're going to call this rippy cbo2 and then we're just going to resubmit everything the exact same so now we have the second campaign duplicated and that's the entire rippy club testing strategy guys the reason that we have multiple campaigns is as i said the abo is what's going to start spending first at 6 a.m and it's going to give a good look at the data on how each video performs as well as warming up the algorithm for when these two campaigns go live now just to mention cbo again as you guys see we pick the budget on these campaigns at the campaign level rather than the ad set level like we did in the abo now what this means is inside the abo each one of these videos are going to spend 25 dollars each what the cbo is since we set the budget at the campaign level what tiktok is going to do is allocate the budget amongst these ad groups on which one it's going to think performs the best so i hope everything makes sense there this is the exact rippy club testing strategy that i've personally used for the last six months this is what everyone in our server tests with and this is how we get amazing results on day one and to get a good idea and good look at our metrics a lot of these youtubers will tell you to set up one campaign on minimum budget and realistically guys you're starting a business here you're not going to know how well your business performs if you're spending 20 dollars on one video and expecting a good amount of results off of that i'm personally going to make two more of these cbo's just because i feel extra confident in my product but typically we 
just test with these three and then we see how everything performs i'm gonna give you guys a live check-in in the morning tomorrow to see how they perform once they start spending and then we're gonna go over a live update on if i'm making any managements or if i'm changing anything around in these campaigns all right guys so we're actually really early in the day on day one right now it's about 9 40 a.m and all my campaigns are live and i'm already at five sales and we're already converting i felt extra confident in this product i really felt like it was going to work so i did two more cbo's than normal everything just started spending here and you know these already have a conversion on day one at just a few dollars cpa so i know this is going to be a fire scale guys now the one thing that i did already at 9 30 a.m is i went inside this abo guys and just because these two creatives right here converted at such a low cpa at two dollars i just clicked in right here i went from a 25 dollar budget to a 50 dollar budget just because i want to get these spending faster i want to get moving in as much motion as possible as i can early in the day on day one and we're just gonna go from there and scale So guys, it's actually been a few hours since the first update with the ads at 9.30 a.m. It's about 3 p.m. right now, and I just traveled a few hours to meet with Fritz and head to the Rippy Club Warehouse, where we kind of fulfill all of our members' orders and stuff, and I haven't been able to touch the ad account. So we need to get in the ad account immediately and start cranking out these budget changes, and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I'm gonna do. This is the Rippy Club Warehouse. This is kind of where we have all of the products for our members and everyone that's in our server, especially for Rippy Shop, and this is kind of just where we run the operation, fulfill it for everyone. Everybody. but that's enough with all that right now we need to just get in the ad account and scale it right now so let's get to it i told y'all we really do this e-com shit so guys here's the store cooking that's on day one we are at 1400 in revenue and the ad spend on the account is right at 275 dollars we're gonna get in here i'm gonna show you guys all the changes that i'm gonna make and let's get it all right guys so here's what the ad account is looking at like right now as i said it's about 3 p.m right now this top cbo right here has 13 conversions at a six dollar cpa okay my break even cpa is at around 20 dollars. so what this means is every six dollars i'm spending i'm getting a sale so what does that make me want to do i'm going to go into the budget here and i'm just going to keep increasing it because this campaign is giving me good metrics i want to keep feeding it so it can keep giving me the orders that I'm looking to get. So we're just gonna put this one up to 600 here. This next one down, four conversions, same CPA, which I like. I'm gonna increase the budget on this again. And you know, this is essentially just how you guys scale on TikTok. Obviously, I'm gonna show you guys all the next few days that I go through, but you know, people aren't really live scaling ads on TikTok like this. People can't really run ads and get results that look like this, especially on day one on YouTube. That's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here to show you guys. The live scaling, I think is gonna help you guys out a lot. So that's essentially why I'm doing this. CBO right here, pretty low CPA. I like it again. I'm gonna bump this budget. And you know, this is just, as I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, the Rippy Club testing strategy that me and everyone in our server has been using for the last few months. And it's just been working straight up. So now that we have all these budgets increased, we already had 32 orders on day one. We have about 10 live visitors. We can expect an influx of live visitors to come in and more sales to happen within the next, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. After all those come through, we're gonna just get back in the campaigns again and bump the budgets on the campaigns that got the sales. The click-through rates over here are doing very, very well. So that tells me my creatives are good as I showed you guys in my last video. The conversion rates are absolutely nuts. And you know, everything right here in the ad account is looking good, 275 spend. We're at about like a five or six row as, which is crazy. And we'll see how the day ends up and I'll see you guys in the next update. All right guys, so right now that I'm back at the house, it's been about another three hours since the last update. And I just wanna show you guys how the store is doing right now. So the store is sitting right around 3.8 k right now hopefully we're gonna finish the day at around five or six obviously i'll give you guys an update later but i just want to tell you guys and show you guys how possible this actually is i'm literally a 21 year old kid this is day one on a brand new drop shipping store that i just started i made this store in a couple hours last night got the creatives done with everything that i teach in the rippy free course but i'm just following the exact criteria that i teach in the course the entire process now i'm showing you guys exactly how i scale my ads and this is kind of just how the drop shipping game goes i'm here to show you that you know i'm a real human being that's doing this and making this work as well and that you guys can literally do the same thing and everything that's going on in rippy club i've literally never seen a discord get the results like the results we do with all of our members it's pretty insane we have wins from everybody so many people already quit their jobs there's 14 year olds making 10k a month and it's ridiculous if you're not in rippy club i don't know what you're doing but back to the point of the video i'm gonna show you guys how i scale my ads and we're gonna get in here for another update and then i'll show you guys what we finish off at. so guys here we are 
are back in the ad manager again. It's all the same exact campaigns that I showed you from the beginning of the day that are running. The same thing is going on here, guys. A ton of conversions and a really profitable CPA. Every $8.44 that I spend on this campaign, I'm getting a sale, which essentially means every $8 this campaign spends, it brings back 36, which is what my average order value is right now. So I'm going to go in here and just increase the budget the same way that I've been doing all day. Same thing with these other campaigns. Let's get into this ABO right here and check out the ad groups. Earlier, I actually did cut these bottom four just because these top two are kind of carrying and they were these ones were just burning money. I didn't need to wait to see if those converted or anything like that just because I have these top ones going. So, you know, nine sales right here, $7 CPA, boom. And this is just what scaling looks like on TikTok, guys. I haven't personally seen any YouTube videos where people are actually showing live scaling and real results like this. You guys are seeing the stuff that we teach in Rippy Club right here. This is proof that it worked. This campaign's gonna get bumped again. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm sure we'll get another influx of sales within the next hour. And we'll just come back in here, refresh it, and just continue to bumping until the sales start slowing down for the day. And that'll be the end of it. And we're just gonna repeat it and run it again tomorrow. So as you guys can see, the real factors that I'm basing my budget bumps off of are the number of conversions in the CPA. If a campaign is showing a profitable CPA for us, which you guys all need to know, your break-even margin, and it gets a few conversions at a time, I'm going to bump the budget on it and just feed the campaign more money to bring me more sales. All right, guys, another quick live update. It's two hours later since the last one. I'm literally at dinner with Fritz right now. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but I'm literally going on my phone right now, connecting to my computer and surf scaling the ads. This is how you guys need to be doing this. This is what you need to be doing. So this campaign right here, guys, you know what we're doing. Boom. And I'm just gonna do the same thing with the rest of them like I've been doing all day. Guys, the store right now, since the last update, 5.4K. And reminder, this is still day one. I'll show you guys what we finish at in the next clip, and that's gonna be it for the day. So quickly, just because some of the clips got messed up, right now it's day two. I'm showing you guys all the results from day one, how much we ended up spending on ads, how much revenue we ended up finishing the day out with. And then I'm gonna give you guys a live update midday on day two, and just show you guys what I ended up doing to scale my ads, and how I set myself up to scale for the rest of the week and just keep producing revenue. All right guys, so now we're here in the store. I just wanna preface this really quickly by showing you guys this this is an absolutely brand new store. You can see the whole month of December, there's absolutely no sales or anything like that. And yesterday was my day one. So yesterday we actually ended the day off at $9,303 in revenue, which is absolutely insane. And I wanna tell you guys, anybody can get to this point 100 million percent. This is definitely my personal best day one ever. And it's been absolutely crazy. But if you guys are just getting started, if you guys are just learning, don't expect to have these results right out of the gate. A lot of people on YouTube wanna tell you that drop shipping is easy buy my course, do this, do that. And they're trying to sell you a dream. This has taken me a lot of hours, money loss and experience to get to this point. And everything with Rippy Club is basically just teaching you guys my whole process to you guys to this point as well. We did 210 total orders. And I want to mention this average order value isn't actually correct because we are upcharging on the shipping, which that revenue is not accounted for in the AOV. Coming back over to the ads manager here, everything that I was doing throughout the whole day yesterday is just what I kept continuing to do throughout the night. You can see these are the campaigns that we spent the money on. Everything below that is new, which I'll get into for right now. And I just continued bumping the budget. This one got up to $2,700. This one got up to $1,250. And you know, our CPAs have stayed profitable the whole time throughout the whole night, which was very, very, very good. So we kept the scale going. And just to reinforce, you guys can see when I'm explaining all of my ad metrics, you see the main thing that I'm looking at is my CPA and my conversions, all right? After I started getting sales and validating the product, the cost per click, the CPM, the click click-through rate, I wasn't really concerned about because I knew what I was running was converting. So the main thing that I was looking at was having these columns on, looking at the amount of sales I was getting and looking at the cost that it took me to get each sale. So I could remain profitable. I knew my break even and I continued to keep scaling. The total spend yesterday was around $2,400. So we were operating at a little over a four ROAS, which is very, very, very good. The profit right here on this was a little over $2,000, guys. And you know, I literally just made this store, put all the ads up and just spawned this money out of thin air. 
It's absolutely crazy. Moving into today and how we're doing, it's about 2.30 p.m. We're almost at $3,600 in revenue. And what I did for today was I took this campaign that performed the best. And since day one went this crazy, typically I'll gradually scale up and add more campaigns to my ad manager. But today it was just about going crazy. So what I did was export that campaign. I brought it over to my Google Sheets. I used the tutorial that's inside of Rippy Club for bulk importing. And what I did was literally just import 30 of these exact same CBO campaigns, all scheduled for 6 a.m. And right when I woke up, I immediately got back to what I was doing yesterday with bumping the budgets on the good ones and cutting the bad ones. So if we come over to today view, we're about 1700 in spend. I think we're gonna bring the day back a little by the end of the day and have a higher ROAS. So these top campaigns right here, 12 conversions, 14 conversions, 11 conversions. I like that the cost for complete payment is lower on this one. So I'm gonna come in here, same thing as yesterday and bump the budget. And that's what I'm gonna continue doing all day. The main takeaway from this guys is you don't know if you can really scale your store unless you actually attempt scaling your store. Now, obviously this situation is a little bit more rare with how crazy this store and how well the ads are performing. So inside of Rippy Club, we have my calls, Q and A's, PDFs that all talk about how to gradually scale up, especially in the testing phase of days one through seven. This is giving you a little bit more of an idea of what we do and how we do it, but obviously we're at an extreme scale right here. All right, guys, live update again from about an hour ago. We're right around 2K in spend and the store is literally at 4,500 in revenue. The last update, we were right around break even and just from the bumps and the cuts that I made. We're literally well in the profit now that fast. As you guys are starting to understand as you're watching this video, I'm just gonna keep bumping these good campaigns. And I made a few cuts down here on the bad ones that didn't keep converting. So now I'm just gonna get back to doing what I've been doing. Here's a quick mistake that I made as well, guys. So here's my return on ad spend column, right? This you need to know your break even on. However, with my offer, I'm charging a good amount of revenue that I'm getting in the shipping. And TikTok with how it's built is not able to track that with in the ad manager. All the ROAS that you guys see here is technically almost 2X higher than what it actually shows because it's not accounting for the shipping revenue. So big mistake, the fact that I turned this off and it's still at a 2.93, which is very profitable. My break even ROAS is about 1.8. That's a big mistake on my part. And that's why you guys need to have a column set up that's very similar to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this one back on and bump the budget so it gets spending again pretty quickly. We'll come back in with another update pretty soon. But the purpose of this one, guys, was to show you to not paper hand and do not cut too early because the fact that I was around break even earlier, if I was like, oh no, and started panicking and turned everything off, I would have never came back the way that I did. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the last hard send of the night. This budget at 2,500, we're gonna hit a bump to 3K right now. Confirm that 1250. Because of all the principles that I talked about earlier, we're going to 1750. This one, 1K, but it has my lowest CPA right now. 2K. So update on the store. We're literally at 11K in his day two. I don't know what is happening. One minute, one minute, two minutes. Look at this. What is happening, guys? All right, guys, so that last clip that you saw there was actually the last one that I ended up recording over those two days. And now I just want to get in the Shopify analytics, show you the end result of that day two, and also what happened over the next two days. We're going to go over the profit, all the numbers, and just everything like that, just to give you guys a good idea of what's still possible with dropshipping in 2024. So that day two ended up on the 20th with $14,049 in revenue, and we ended up spending right over 5k on ads. This was right around a 2.6 return on ad spend. Like like I said this column right here so that was very very good very very profitable into the next day we ended up spending six thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars on ads on the 21st we did another 14.8k and then coming into the fourth day here on the 22nd 8.8k in revenue and we ended up spending four thousand seven hundred and ten dollars on the ads guys so as i said and showed you guys before this was a completely brand new store there's literally zero revenue throughout the whole month of december the 19th was the first day and over these four days we ended up doing forty seven thousand dollars in revenue in four days guys we had to pay right around fifteen hundred dollar in processing fees the total amount of ad spend was right over eighteen thousand dollars and we spent just under nineteen thousand dollars on the product cost and this left us with a total profit of right around eight thousand dollars guys I'll put the exact numbers on the screen, but $8,000 in four days is absolutely insane. And guys, you know, over those other two days that I didn't really show much updates of, it was literally just that first CBO 
that I set up in the beginning. I was clicking this and I was exporting it and then I was just bulk importing all the CBOs over and over and over again. I have an entire tutorial on how to spam paste CBOs like that in Rippy Club. The theme I was using on my store was Shrine Pro, which is an absolutely amazing theme on Shopify. I mentioned this in my last video, but it's genuinely hard to make a bad looking store with that theme. And it just gives you so much of an extra boost, especially with all the options and features that it has. So guys, the main takeaway from this video is how I scale fast and hard on TikTok, yes. But I also want you guys to realize the bigger picture of how possible it is to make money online, especially in 2024. We've never been in a better time than right now. If you guys have been watching a ton of drop shipping videos, if you guys have been dabbling in, you know, the internet money space for a little bit, but haven't really gotten started, please, please, please let this be your sign. I know for me personally, so long, I would look for videos that were kind of just like this, but there's nothing really that transparent on YouTube and nothing ever really got me motivated to start because I didn't know if it was possible or not. Inside the Discord and Rippy Club, guys, we're already taking over the entire e-commerce space. We have so many members and so many people that I've personally became friends with who are absolutely changing their lives. You know, there's kids my age and younger making tens and tens of thousand dollars a month. We have wins posted from our members every single day. We have multiple different roles. We don't teach just e-commerce. We have an entire trading section that my boy Tanner runs. He has a multi seven figure trading portfolio. He calls out all of his trades all the time. We also just launched a brand new role called Rippy Creators. And this role will teach you how to go from zero to $10,000 a month just by posting TikTok videos with the creator fund. We have a new TikTok shop role coming out and you know, the server is just growing and growing. There's unlimited ways to make money in there. We have an amazing community guys. Our voice chats are active 24 seven. If you need a little boost of motivation, if you need someone to talk to, if you need people to help you guide through what you're doing, we have the absolute best resources. We have the best members. So many friendships and partnerships have been made in here. And I really can't wait to see and talk to all of you guys in Rippy Club. I'm in there every single day. So with that being said, guys, I hope to see you in the Discord. I hope the free course helps you out a shit ton. I know it will. It's already helped a ton of people. All the resources we have in Rippy Club are amazing and gonna be another extra boost for you in starting your e-commerce journey. And I'll see you guys in there. The link's down below.